do about those non-lovers, formerly known as haters? Or what do you do about toxic family? Or those people who always have something to say about what you're doing, those naysayers and those non-believers. What do you do about those people? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, that just comes with the territory of being great. When you begin to accomplish something and really begin to focus on yourself and you become an amazing person that really has something of value to offer the world, the non-lovers start to come out of the woodwork like roaches, like seriously, so annoying, like gnats at a barbecue. They're going to be all over the place. But the great thing about that is that just means that you are doing something right. The moment that you have people talking about what you're doing, it just means everything that you are doing is right. The moment somebody says something, something about you, oh, they're doing this wrong, or look at this person, or, I can't believe you're doing that. All that means is that you're doing an awesome job. And that is the time that you must push forward and continue and go harder and do it even better. Because you, you really want to give your non-lover something to talk about. If people are going to talk about you, you, you got to give them something to talk about, right? <laughs> so you just want to be grateful for the mere fact that God gave you something amazing and special for other people to waste their time and utilize their time and energy talking about and let them do it. It has nothing to do with you. And most importantly, you do not want to give your non-lovers energy. You don't want to talk negative about the negative people that are talking about you. You never want to give hate to your haters, right? Because all you're doing in that moment is you're stooping down to their low vibrational level and you're really self-sabotaging yourself. Now, I know it feels good to be like, oh, look at all these haters, high hater and all that stuff. There's no need for that at all whatsoever. Let them do them. Send them lots of love and lots of energy. All you have to do is say, you know what, non-lover, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to send you tons of love, tons of energy. And I really, really wish, hope, and pray that all of your hopes and desires come to pass and that you live an absolutely amazing and fabulous life and that maybe one day you'll be able to look in the mirror and see your own greatness instead of wasting your time talking about mine. Sending you lots of love and keep it moving. That is it. And I'm being a little sarcastic, but I mean, really, you should bless those people who are not on your team and just simply be the change that you want to see and continue to grow and continue to be an example. That's all that you have to do. And yes, it's challenging. And yes, you have to stay focused. And, you know, you are going to be dealing with those type of people for the rest of your life if you plan on being a great person for the rest of your life. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I believe in you. Keep going. Keep pushing. You are necessary. The world needs you and everything that you have to offer. And I guarantee you, those people who don't have anything to offer will be talking about you. So get ready and let it happen. Embrace it and keep it moving. Love you guys.